This morning, Kimmy made these amazing scented pine cones. And they smell like Christmas. for fall, even though it's still hot out and we're having another heat wave, I am going to make cinnamon and pine cones. They opened up just because they were out in a hot garage, but if I guess you're supposed to bake them at 250 for a while, but it's hot where I live, so they opened up. So I'm going to glue them um, on the outside and then sprinkle cinnamon and cloves inside a Ziploc bag. You can do it with adhesive spray, but I didn't want to go to the store and buy any. Stick it in the Ziploc bag. Throw this baby in there. Grab a little bit of my cinnamon color and cloves. So there's one in the bag with cinnamon on it. You can let it stay in there for quite some time. You can also sprinkle um, ginger or allspice. Um, if you want to add some essential oil, I might like add a couple drops of essential oil to the bag. Like citrus or orange spice would be a good essential oil. I want it to be really, really potent. So I might leave it in there for more than a day. Okay, so that's all for now. So this is Nick, Mace's friend. And yeah, what do you say? He's over to visit and hang out. Yeah, been over like a year or so. Yeah, it's, it's been forever. Been, it's been about six months. Yeah, like six months. Six months. That's an eternity. Cole, we haven't seen her for a while, but check it out. She looks wonderful. I dressed her up. I was going to put a veil on her and a little bit of her It's fine. It's fine. Hi. Hi. Abby taught me how to take the chickens out of the coop. Let's make them fun. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Like one of those old people who park really far away from their car or from like the stores that's because that's the only fine shady spot I could find today yes yeah, so I'll learn how to speak English again later I was going to get my hair cut first but um, the lady who cuts hair is like you know it'd be nice if you didn't film me because I asked her and uh, so I'm gonna go back and go get my hair cut by somebody else who wants to be on film and in the meantime I'm gonna go pick up some groceries People are funny about being on video. I mean, personally, if I saw somebody want to take a video and say, hey, let's make a movie, I'd be like, dude, let's do it. But I vlog every day, so I'm probably not the norm. Let's 
go get a haircut. Okay, so I'm getting my haircut right now. And do, do you mind telling me your name? Jen, hi. Hi. <laughs> so I shaved my goatee, gotta get a haircut, look nice ish. <laughs> I really need to get a tripod someday. Need a what? A tripod for the uh, camera. Yeah. Make my life easier. Okay, so I'm at Great Clips and Jen gives good haircuts. <laughs> so you should come here. Oh, you get haircuts you. from her. Do I look any better? I hope so. Well, you don't look furry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Even though I'm eating like a rabbit, why is it so hard for me to lose weight? Because my wife cooks food like that. Really, how am I supposed to resist that? I have an apricot tree outside my kitchen window and every summer I pick all these beautiful apricots and I have so many apricots that if I don't have time to can them I will just freeze them. So I decided to make an apricot crisp and then over here I made a crumb topping. I've mixed oats, a little bit of flour, a little bit of brown sugar and white sugar, and I melted butter, and I'm just stirring it all together so that all of the dry portions get wet and kind of gets clumpy and like big chunks of crumbs. And I did sprinkle some cinnamon in there. I used an entire one of these gallon bags of frozen apricots. And I did use one whole cup of butter, um, unsalted, at least two cups of oats, and at least another cup of flour, maybe closer to two. Sprinkled enough cinnamon, and I um, probably about a cup of cup of sugar, maybe a cup and a half. So till it kind of looks like that, just this is a good crumb topping. And then I just go ahead and sprinkle that right over my, my apricots. You really don't need anything other than that. You don't need to do anything to the apricots. You can make jam out of them like this. You can use them in smoothies, which is generally what I end up doing is using them in smoothies. But if I want to make an easy dessert, I can go to them and use them up. I'm going to actually let it sit out on the counter for a while today. Since the apricots are pretty frozen, just let it sit out for a few hours. Nothing's going to go bad. So I am going to do them at 350 for about 40 to 50 minutes until it's bubbly. And then you take it out of the oven and let, you let it sit for 30 minutes to cool. And that is that. Here's my finished product. This is the apricot crisp or apricot crumble. And I'm letting it cool for 30 minutes. This one over here just came out, and that one's been sitting a little bit longer, so you can see it's getting more kind of thick underneath. And that's gonna be yummy with ice cream on top or whipped cream.